The tech and games industries have come a long way from some of the corporate practices that excluded women from joining. We now only hear legends of the board meetings of Atari happening in jacuzzis and drug and sex fueled work-based environments in other Silicon Valley companies. Since Gamergate and Me Too campaigns, the feminist agenda of equal rights has found a footing and made gains in providing better work conditions for some women in the field. Sadly, this has also induced a very individualistic approach to these issues. Number one, we have corporate feminists. In her 2013 bestseller called Lean In, Sheryl Sandberg argues that individual stories of an empowered, ambitious woman, her success and likability, are the transformative tools for feminism going forward. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Susan Faludi argues that such a message of women's workplace empowerment is actually a corporate backed campaign that encourages women to promote themselves individually as a marketable consumer object for professional advancement while discouraging solidarity and downplaying the damaging effects of systematic gender bias felt collectively by women in the workplace. Another type of woman in the industry is the cool girl. She doesn't get involved with politics and feminist campaigning, she's above it all and she's one of the dudes. Women are socialized to be competitive to other women and we can't deny how many of us carry that with us our entire lives. Says Canadian women's rights advocate Julie S. Lalonde, there's this idea that if you distance yourself from other women and align yourself with men, not only will they choose you over other women, but they will treat you with the same respect they show their friends. This is known as proximity to power, the idea that aligning yourself with the person or group in power will give you access to the said group. This phenomenon is portrayed very sharply in the new wave of women Twitch streamers actively promoting themselves to the audience of pro-men's riot activists. I'm not like other girls, I don't mind if you make lurid comments. I suppose it is partially our failure. Feminism needs to tailor itself to all women. If it doesn't apply itself to the women who don't even know they need feminism, it will continue to preach to the converted. We must build ladders and spread solidarity in an accessible manner. Challenging that disparity from a material point of view may perhaps be a more accessible route. Identity politics cannot be devoid from class issues or they are in danger to being co-opted and be seen as elitist. There is no space for compromise. We must demand equal opportunities for all, not just the influential. You just watched Left Left Up. I'm Marianne Dechkovlita. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.